You're listening to the Bonnery Show. It's eight in the evening. Tune in every night at eight to listen to the Bonnery Show on Irish News Radio or ITV.ie. And you can contact anything that you've heard or if anything you'd like to discuss at news at Irish News. On ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Today is Friday, and as I look through the papers, Quick glance, absolutely shocking. Our criminal government is at it. My pit of my stomach feels sick again. Constantly feeling the sickness with this government. They have decided carbon tax. Now, at first I thought, are they just stupid? Really stupid after France? No. They're talking about property tax and I'm actually beginning to feel that they're not as stupid as they seem. What they want to do is they're trying to force, which I've always known, the Irish out of Ireland. I've always had that feeling, but they've really stepped up their game to force the Irish out of Ireland. So people are not paying this property tax, the government. Like the, like the black and tans, or before the black and tans, when the British soldiers would come around and knock down before the famine. This is exactly like what's happening. So the Irish government will be going around to people and repossessing their home from the Irish who don't, who can't afford to pay the Irish home tax. We're in a big, big situation. This is. This is really, really getting worse. The Irish government is completely a criminal government. They're out now for anybody who can't afford, maybe elderly people who've inherited their houses back a few generations. But there's no way that they will be able to afford this taxes. There's other people who've inherited homes or just been in homes these are the homes that will be taken and anybody else who's struggling, middle class families who are struggling to pay the ends meet and just barely have enough to pay their mortgage and are skimping by, who are both parents are working. These homes are all going to be taken by the Irish government. And what they're going to do is they're going to put an army on the streets to make sure this is happening. This is the EU army. This is exactly like what happened in the famine. It is terrifying. They are going to come to take your homes away. They will squeeze and squeeze as much money out until you are forced to leave the country. Or they're going to take, or either way, they're going to take your home and your land, everything that belongs to you. They want you out of the land. They're forcing uh, Irish travelling, 40, uh, 40 of them in West Dublin. And the reason being is there's migrants going into that area. And then government knows that one of those itinerant girls gets touched. The itinerant men will burn those Muslims or so-called migrants, males, out of it. They will burn their homes down. They're less tolerant. They're very much in the... Old Bible, the Old Testament, there are an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You touch a traveller girl, they will come and burn the whole lot of them out. So instead of keeping the Irish in, and it's their home, it's as much as the traveller's community, it's theirs as well as it is ours. It belongs to our heritage, our history, our people. So they're forcing them out because the fear is that when they put the migrants in, they know that the migrants will go near after the girls. They know most the Irish will be much more easy about it. The itinerants, you go near their girls, any other girl, and or any other women, they will burn you out of it. So instead of keeping the Irish there, they're forcing the Irish out, making excuses. And not even, like, no proper excuses that, you know, some council, Dublin council, had already warned the travellers to move. But yet you're taking migrants in who have no right to be in this country and you're giving them Irish homes and Irish lands and you're forcing Irish out. It is absolutely scary, so sick to my stomach. 
I am terrified. They're going to put the Irish or the the Euro army on the streets. This is why they know there's going to be some sort of riots fairly soon. They will force the water charges will be back on. Um, as soon as they break, as soon as they squeeze and squeeze, if they get through this carbon tax, then they're straight onto the property tracks. Once they get through, they may even bang them all back in at the same time. So the middle class and anybody is squeezed out of Ireland or you're squeezed into financial slavery. This is what's heading for you. If you're a native Indigenous Irish, you're very much, as I've been saying for a while, but it's becoming more obvious every day, you're not wanted in this land. This government does not want you. They're going to force you out or force you into slavery. It is scary days, people. Um, there's not, not much to look forward to. Like, I actually believe you either stand, if you can't afford, you stand and you fight. You don't pay it, but you just fight. That's the only thing we can do. Or if you're not able for the fight, you look at some Eastern European countries um, and try to, to think you know, it's what the government wants. They want to force you out. But you know what? Maybe you'll have a, a life there and you'll have safety for your children. Where this is not going to be a safe country. The amount of migrants the government is taking in and going to increase it all the time. So there is no street. There's going to be no road, no school, no home safe in this country. And all your homes will be taken First, the Irish government will try and bring down wherever thugs and try and get the name. They'll distract by Northern Ireland or different groups. But eventually, it will be the Irish army. And the reason they'll justify it is civil unrest. And there will be civil unrest because they keep forcing and squeezing every penny they can get out of the Irish because they want them out of their homes. It's an absolutely a disgrace. Uh, it is scary days happening. Very frightening. Um, thank you for listening on the Bonnery Show on ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Tomorrow we'll be speaking to the wonderful Eileen again um, to see what's happening and what she's been aware of, what the corrupt EU is doing with our horrible criminal government, which should really be locked up in prison for what they've done to this country. Thank you very much for listening again on The Bonnery Show. You are listening to Irish News Radio at irishnews.net. Email news at irishnews.net.